question number nine, we are told which one of the following statement is true? A rectangle is a square. A trapezium is a parallelogram. A parallelogram is a rectangle. A robust is a parallelogram. So for better answer to this question, let me show you this uh, figures that is a rectangle a square a trapezium a parallelogram and a robust uh, so that you may be able to check which statement is correct so with these figures uh, that is a square that is a rectangle that is a robust that is a parallelogram and that is a trapezium uh, so if we go through the statement a a rectangle is a square uh, a rectangle cannot be a square because the sides of a rectangle are, are uh, 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 the length is uh, we have the length and the width but all the sides of a rectangle of a square are equal uh, so we cannot say that uh, that is true a trapezium is a parallelogram uh, a trapezium has uh, only a pair of uh, two sides that is uh, this is a trapezium and a parallelogram have a pair of uh, uh, parallel sides so the, a trapezium has one pair uh, 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 a parallelogram has a, a, a two pairs of parallel lines so that's not correct uh, we can say a parallelogram is a rectangle a parallelogram is uh, is uh, the angles of a rectangle are 90 but the angles of a parallelogram are not 90 so we eliminate that a robust is a parallelogram if you look at the shape of a robust and uh, a parallelogram they share a common property that they have a pair of uh, parallel lines uh, and uh, the the angles are not 90 so we can say they are uh, uh, they, they look alike only that maybe we can say a, a robust uh, a, a parallelogram is a stretch of a robot so that is a correct answer uh, so you mark that and that is how you argue to come up with the answer D so that's how you answer that question